Hi, I'm Craig Casebeer, and you're watching Off Stage with Craig. Sky is on fire, and so is my soul. If you expect my next guest to be a black metal band, you'd be mistaken. I'm sitting up in the middle of the night Begging you to come around I'm calling you in the middle of the night And I don't know why The sky is on fire And so is my soul Ignites my desire As your eyes glow like coals And it's alright, it's alright Yeah, it's alright with me Yeah, it's alright, it's alright And it's alright with me Waking up in the middle of the night, I need to get you here somehow I'm calling you in the middle of the night and I don't know why I'm sitting up in the middle of the night, begging you to come around I'm calling you in the middle of the night and I don't know why Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. That's an awesome song. Thank you so much. So that's your Eurovision entry. Yeah, exactly. That's it. And what's it called? It's called Don't Know Why. Don't Know Why. Yeah. So have you got a little country influence from that? Well, yeah, I guess I guess a bit. It's like, it's pretty life, I guess. Yeah. So. I could hear that being a Nashville, a Nashville song. Yeah, it's also a Nashville guitar. Oh, okay. All right. Well, maybe that's why. Maybe <laughs> yeah, that's maybe why. Maybe that's why. <laughs> Um, so you, can you tell me a little bit why you entered that song into the Eurovision contest? Well, actually, uh, I didn't write it for Eurovision. First I wrote it, and then we decided with my producer that we can give it a try. So that was the destiny of the song. Yeah? Yeah. Can you explain the, the, what inspired you to write that? Well, 
it's uh, I struggled a lot in the past uh, because I I was writing songs about love, mm -hmm. which I got pretty tired. Yeah, uh, uh, tired of. So it's it's not it's it's not about love, or I like to think it's not about love. Mm -hmm. Um, I wrote it like this summer, and I, I, I lived in Prague, like f for for the summer, and I got one time I got really lonely, yeah. and and it's the song is about like uh, about about the need uh, to be close uh, to the people that you're attached, like in in any way, so that's. Shortcut. Yeah. Yes. Um, this year, the Czechs had the most entries, something like 60 entries for the contest, and you were one of the top eight, so that's definitely going to give you a boost of confidence there to be chosen into that. Yeah, I'm happy to be one of those eight. It's, it's really nice in the national round. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't even know how many people were signing for the first round because my... my Producer pretty much like um, did everything for me, mm -hmm. which I'm happy for, of course. Yeah. And yeah, but it's 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 great to be it's great to be here. Great. Um, I see you have a lot of other interests. You're in medical school now. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, how much just more? Started. Oh, you just started. Okay. <laughs> it's it's a it's a first year. So yeah. Well, that's the toughest. Long year. way. Yeah, yeah. I, know, I know. a lot of med students here. Um, all right. So if you win Eurovision. And your song career takes off. Uh, med school going to go on hold for a while. Well, it's that's that's a hard thing to think think about for me. Mm -hmm. I have no idea, to be honest. I have yeah. no idea. I I love I love uh, science. I love medicine. Mm -hmm. I'd like to finish my studies, but you never know. I mean, uh, I can't predict yeah. any of these events. Yeah. Yeah. I see you also uh, volunteered with uh, mentally handicapped. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Um, I did this because I wanted to study psychology mm -hmm. at first, mm -hmm. and here in Czech Republic, it's it's like it's pretty hard to get to psychology. Yeah, you need to have a lot of experiences. So that was the main reason, and I volunteered here, like in in hospital and and with handicapped kids. And that was quite fun. I liked, I, I liked working with those people. It's yeah. Nice. Now, did that play a role in your first video when you filmed it in the hospital? Yeah, maybe a bit. Yeah, yeah. of course. Like I was influenced definitely mm -hmm. by, by the. It's like from. It's shot in a psychiatry hospital mm -hmm. here in Prague. Yeah. The first video. So yeah, definitely. Yeah. You had any acting uh, classes or anything? Because you were very good in that video. <laughs> Do you think so? Yeah. yeah you <laughs> well, um, no. <laughs> but I can tell you that we needed to like uh, pick 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 a uh, pick up a lot of, like images where um, I'm not laughing or something else. So yeah. it was it was hard. Yeah. It's good in the end, but it was not. It was not so good. <laughs> good editing. Yeah. 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 Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So, uh, what are you going to play for me next? It's a song that's going to appear in my EP next year. Oh, uh, I guess it's called "All You Have To." Yeah, so yeah. it's going to premiere here then. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I that's it. I feel special. Exactly. All right. All right. <laughs> All right. So let's do it. All right. Let's go. Okay. All right, so this is the song of mine that we just talked about. It's called All You Have To. It's going to appear in my next EP and first EP as well. Always put me through, always put me through 
Won't you let me know if you ever wanna hurt me someone? Cause I kind of miss the misery. Seem to breathe me for. All you have to do is call me. My body stops listening to my brain. It just begins to crawl to you Like a senseless puppet I'm your slave All you have to do is call me All you have to do is All you have to do is All you have to do is call me All you have to do is All you have to do is all you have to do is call me I'm right here And I could save you, you know I can lose myself Though it never paid off before But there's no easy way out From the chains that you locked me in well, All you have to do is call me my body stops listening to my brain It just begins to crawl to you, yeah Like a senseless puppet, I'm your slave All you have to do is call me All you have to do is All you have to do is All you have to do is call me all you have to do is, all you have to do is, all you have to do is call me. All you have to, all you have to do is, all you have to, all you have to. So you have to All you have to do is call me My body stops listening to my brain It just begins to crawl to you Like a senseless puppet I'm your slave All you have to do is call me all you have to do is, all you have to do is, all you have to do is call me. All you have to do is, all you have to do is, all you have to do is call me. Alright, so now I'm gonna play a song that's called You Are, that's my, that's my second uh, a second song now. It's my debut single, which we talked about from the psychiatry hospital. Well, cool, let's hear it. I'm looking forward to it. You are You are the guy that lost the way you are You are the tramp that got back home again You are you are the night that's coming day by day You are my son You, 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 you are You, 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 you are You are you are the beast in its cage, you are You are the mirror to my arrogance, you are You are the snow that will never melt, you are My fame, you I am just the raindrop in 
sea so deep yeah. And I am the one who's sailing close to the wind Well I am, I am the secret that you keep Well I am Buddy, you have a new fan. <laughs> Thank you so much, man. I believe the more people hear your music, you're going to have a lot of fans. What inspired you to initially to get into it? Uh, what do you mean? like Into music, into music and guitar and writing. Well, that's a long story. <laughs> well, I guess like uh, when I was attending high school, mm -hmm. I started to post like some YouTube covers. And, and I remember like one of them got like... 300,000 hits. So I was like, okay. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's, yeah. that's good. Um, so I started to post even more covers. Mm -hmm. And then um, I come from like a small city uh, in Moravia. Mm -hmm. So after high school, I moved to Prague and started study and I did my sports. And then um, I, I met, met some friends in Rome and uh, they were basking, they were playing in the street. Mm -hmm. So I tried it, and then I tried it in Prague, and I found out that I can earn money, and it's fun, and, and it's and it's it's really good experience. Mm -hmm. So I started like traveling around Europe uh, in some time, and earning money and play, playing, playing music for people. Yeah. And then I decided I'd like to release my own stuff, so I got together with my producer and, and we, we did like the, the, the first single, that's it. So uh, why are you writing uh, your songs in English? Well, that was the reason actually, because I was traveling. Mm -hmm. So I was spending like uh, most of the time like mm -hmm. in other countries. Yeah. So, you know, it, it would be, it, it would have no sense to sing um, in Czech like yeah. for, for people all around Europe. So, yeah. so basking is, is yeah. the... Yeah, but your your lyrics. Um, by reading them, I would not guess that you weren't a native English speaker. Oh, uh, that's very good. I'm glad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's one of the most important things. Mm -hmm. Who's been some of your major influences in music? Well, it's hard hard to tell. Uh, I used to listen to a lot of indie music at high school. <laughs> And I love rock music, pretty much everything. It's it's really hard for me to, to tell. But when I'm composing, I'm trying not to listen any, to anything because it, it just starts uh, seeping in too much. Yeah, exactly. It it like ha happened like a lot of times that I wrote a song, and I was like, yeah, that's a good song. It's gonna be hit. And like in one week, I found out that like it already already exists. So yeah. So yeah, when I'm composing, I'm I'm listening like to jazz or or something like this, like mm -hmm. stuff that can really influence like w what I'm trying to do. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, any particular artists that you've grew up listening to primarily were big influences. Well, uh, I love Matt Corby. 
at the moment. He's an Australian uh, singer. And then, I don't know, Arctic Monkeys, uh, U2. Of, I don't really know. There's like so much yeah. artists. It's like... Um, the Black Keys. I love the Black Keys. Mm -hmm. I must know the Black Keys. So, yeah. Actually, like, I had this... Um, uh, I don't know, it, it lasted like four, four a year. Mm -hmm. And every day I had to like listen to, to all this graphy of Black Keys. I love them so much. So I guess definitely that's one of the uh, like uh, greatest influences uh -huh. for me. Right. So uh, say so you got a new EP coming out. When is that going to be launched? Well, uh, as soon as possible is the right answer, I guess. Yeah. Um, I guess it's pretty much finished, but there are like so many things we need to do about it. And from from my experiences, when I was releasing like my my first single, mm -hmm. uh, it was like one year late, late. So um, I don't like I don't like to say right now like yeah. it's gonna be released like in, done when it's done spring, but yeah, as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. uh, hopefully before summer. Yeah. yeah. Are you gonna do companion videos with it or? Well, I get. I guess I, I release uh, one single first mm -hmm. with a music video, yeah, and then then the whole EP with the song on it as well. All right, I'm looking forward to it. I want a copy. Yeah. <laughs> Are we gonna hear some more music? Yeah, of course. I'll play some 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 other songs of mine for you from the upcoming EP. Oh, okay. All yeah. right. Looking forward to it. All right. So let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> So this next song is called In the Night. Like a fear in our reins, like a rust on a steel. The faster we'll live, the sooner we'll be chased by death, my dear. And in the night I heard your name, you told me yesterday. Well, I am worried about my life. I said it would be alright And in the night I saw her face She told me yesterday I'd rather die than lose my mind What we are is undefined And in the night I saw her face She told me yesterday I'd rather die than lose my mind What we are is undefined And in the night I heard your name You told me yesterday Well I am worried about my life I said it will be alright And in the night I saw her face she told me yesterday I'd rather die than lose my mind The peace we've sold is hard to find We both know how does it feel To carry the souls filled with fear We don't know what is real sometimes 
And we could run or we could hide But there's no end without a start Yeah, it's gonna come but not to take And in the night I heard your name And you told me yesterday Well, I am worried about my life I said, oh, it's gonna be just fine And in the night I saw her face She told me yesterday I'd rather tie than lose my mind The peace we've sold is hard to find Ooh, 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 ooh. Alright, I'll just tune my guitar. This next this next song is called Crying the Sand. And it also is gonna appear in my WDP. night before we wake and we're running back into the dark and there is no time to keep my feet upon the ground for any doubt to hold me back Ooh, I can feel the cycle inside of me It goes one way and back around We are fools about the drown Cry the sand instead of the tears 